Hey guys, how's it going? So, today's video, uh, it's got a bit of animation in it. Um, actually, no, actually a lot of animation in it. Um, it started off as one idea in my head, and then I kind of said, oh, you know what, I'm going to try something else, and it just kind of developed. Um, and like, like I said uh, in the video, that uh, it was a ton of fun to do. Um, I haven't done anything like this in 30 years, right? But it was so much fun to do. I mean, um, I, I don't know exactly what the program is. It's just a stop animation program. But if you have anything like that at home on your computer, um, do it. Or you can download it or whatever it takes to get it done. Do it. Have some fun with it. Oh, my gosh. And you can do like a simple little object, right? You know, and just play around with it. Like the stuff they have today is just phenomenal. Like, and you can do it at home, you know, and just make some fun for yourself. You know, maybe you want to... You know, surprise somebody with a little idea in your head, right? And you can show them that, right? So, as I said, uh, I, I show the process of how I did it at the end and that. So, uh, you know, please uh, take my ideas and use them for your own. I think it was just, like I said, it was, I just had a great time doing it. It was fun. And uh, it worked out. It worked out cool. So, uh, if you don't mind, you can hit that old like button. You can also do the subscribe thing if you haven't done that already. And um, uh, the bell for notification. And... You know what? Share the video with a friend. Yeah, there's an idea too. Yeah, maybe they might like it too. So, little red eyed tree frog having his little dinner. <laughs> there we are. So, all right, guys, how did I wind up being able to do the frog the way I did it? Well, first things first, I did the original picture. After I finished that, I then cut out the actual character, right? After I cut the character out, um, I was thinking to myself, well, wait a minute, I want to do some stuff where I have a tongue shooting out and stuff like that. So what I did then was I went and I did a photocopy, and I made a photocopy of the same character. And that way, I could do stuff like the tongue. And the tongue, right, which you can see is like here, what I did was I simply cut a little sliver in the bottom, and then I poked it through, and that became the tongue. And there you are. See? I'm going to just move this guy out of the way for a second. So what happened was the tongue would shoot out, right, and you could actually see him hit the fly. Now, the fly itself, all I did there was a simple little cutout, of a fly, right? And I just simply moved him around. Now, the eyes, what did I do? Well, I did another photocopy, I cut those out, and I actually just placed them on top. So it was nice and simple, right? And a lot of fun, and, that, and then I could literally move the eyes around just by simply turning a little bit this way and this way. So you actually see the eyes moving as the fly's moving. 
Now, at the end of it, because we know, as a person who's into reptiles, that all amphibians have to blink after they swallow their food. So that was very, very simple. What I did there was I took a little cardboard cutting and I made about a quarter size to go over the eyelid. And then after that was done, let's see if I can get this on here so I can show you. There we are. So I would take a shot. Then the second one was a halfway. Do a shot, right? Wasn't that hard, right? Boom, right? And then the last one was simply a full circle to go completely over. Then I would just simply take them away and go back and I did it twice. So the eyes went twice, they blinked twice and that. And there you are. So it was a lot of fun. It wasn't that hard. Um, I probably put about, you know, a couple of hours into it. No, probably maybe three or four hours into it. Uh, playing around right because the original thing was I all I wanted to do was just show the movement of the ink uh, In the uh, animation. That's why I did it that way. I started off with uh, I thought oh, it'd be kind of really cool to animate as it's working uh, Coming together as a little picture, but then I had to go farther with it I just couldn't let it just go and then uh, like I said I cut my little guy out um, and there you are, see? So it's nice and simple. So if I had wanted to, I could have actually gone into making them with legs and stuff like that. And I also didn't go crazy in the sense of trying to, uh, you know, make it perfect, right? It's a simple little program that's on the, on the uh, computer. Uh, I'll make sure that that's in the uh, description so that you guys can do it. I would absolutely say if you're at home and you have anything like this, do it. It's so much fun. And even if you mess up a little bit, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm, I haven't done any of this kind of stuff in a long, long, long time. And I mean a long, long time. I'm talking like 30 years worth of long time. And uh, I just had a lot of fun with it. And I just had a little idea in my head. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I mean, like I said, it's not perfect, but it works. So there you are. Right? So make sure you have fun with it. Okay, guys? And I'll talk to you at the end of this video here. Well guys, it's all done. Uh, as I said before, I really enjoyed doing it. The process was fun. Um, I'd like to do more of those and uh, if you like them, please let me know. I really appreciate that too. Um, and uh, you know, like I say, I sat down, I was kind of going one way and also the next thing I knew I was going another way. Um, but it, it, that happened. So, remember, be cool like a big bull moose. And always wear your pants. Oh, and by the way, yes, I did shave here. Yeah, something a little new. Just thought I'd give it a try.